AMS 2140, Capturing Transient Data. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the AMS 2140 to capture transient data using up to four channels plus phase. As we review these options, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. From the home screen of the AMS 2140, you will start setting up the analyzer to capture transient data by selecting the downloadable program using the F11 Advanced Transient key. We start the setup by creating a new job using the F8 key. How jobs work is explained in a separate tutorial. F1 creates a new job. Accept the new job, and now we have created Job 2. Next, you would typically use F1 and then select Acquire Data to configure what and how you want to configure. However, there are a couple of settings that we can simply double-check now to see if they are appropriate for our data collection. Let's take a look at the Alt-2 page and select Sensor Setup. Here you can confirm if you are using the right sensor on each of the channels, or change it. There are two sensors each on page Alt-1 and Alt-2. You can check your TAC by using F4 TAC Setup. In this example, I am working with a magnetic pickup. The power is off and the trigger level is negative. There is a separate tutorial on how to configure a TAC. Now I will use F10 Show RPM to confirm the TAC signal is being received. Inside F5 Data Display setting, you will use the F2 key to specify the number of data points in your detailed waveform. Select from the menu provided. Similarly, use F3 Set Lines to indicate how many lines you want on the spectrum, again selecting from the menu. F4 allows you to specify the window type, uniform, or Hanning. F5, 6, 11, and 12 provide a menu for you to select the units for each of your four channels. Finally, if you are using a TAC to measure speed, you can choose whether or not to see the TAC lines on the spectrum. Let's go back to Job 2 and F6, where you can specify what kind of plots we want to see after the data is collected. Select F2 to choose from the menu. In this example, we will view the full transient data on all four channels. F6 allows you to choose your plot format. In this example, we will use Quad. All the settings we have reviewed to this point are one-time settings. Now let's look at the setting for this specific job. Going back to Alt-1, I will use F1 Setup and Acquire Data. I have already specified that I want to measure up to 2000 Hz. I can use F5 to specify how long I want to measure. The sample rate and samples are calculated based on the Fmax and sample time that I have requested. For the TAC trigger, I use F9 to set the trigger to ON. This means that data collection will only start when the analyzer receives a TAC pulse. I also wish to store the TAC pulses. I have my inputs already set for my four sensors. And next, I will press F1 Start to begin collecting data. The raw signal will be measured for 30 seconds. During this time, the machines will go through its natural frequencies twice. During the measurement, you can see the amount of time remaining for the measurement. In the interest of time, this video will skip ahead to view the data collected. Here you see the four channels of transient waveform data. In a separate tutorial, we will cover the analysis tools available from this screen. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com slash AMS 2140. Thank you for watching.